it is now May, nearly halfway through the year. Time to see how the dirt devil has got on. And it's not all been bad, to be honest. It's been quite nice. Let's see how full the bag is. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? So, the Dirt Devil 6110 Electrolux Contour Clone hasn't been too horrific actually. I've quite enjoyed it. This has been perfectly adequate. It does clean the carpet surprisingly well. It isn't that lovely to use, as in it is quite clunky, but then I've always thought that's about Electrolux contours as well, so that's just my personal opinion really. I mean, they're not set, they won't set the world on fire, but it's been perfectly fine really. We've, we've, we've used it quite a lot. Bag should be quite full. I found a crevice tool that almost fits, but not quite. Good enough. What the other little niggles I've had? Well, actually, this one's surprisingly annoying. The hose. You take the hose off, and you have to fight it past the cable exit. And again, to put it back on, you have to sort of lift and push down. But, not the end of the world, really. Let me just find some power so we can turn it on. Here we go. It's been perfectly adequate, really. Oh, hang on, that socket's turned off. Why is that socket turned off? And so on such forth really. This carpet isn't, doesn't quite like this carpet, it's a bit dense, but our quite short pile of carpets at home, you can see it titivate the pile. What's the bag like? Well, seems to be a little bit of fine dust seeped out, although not too much, let's be honest. Let's have the bag itself out. And that's got a nice wash of dirt in it really. Can't really see, it's up to about there. We just close that up like so. Oh, ah. Okay, that's there has been a little bit of dust leakage. You can definitely see it there. And on the filter. What that might be is oh, I've, I've just noticed this, the seal has split on the bag, whether that's because this is a pattern bag or where I forced it on, I don't quite know really, but yeah, can't win them all, so it's been perfectly fine, it's always been boring, I'm going to say always been boring, because it's worked, it's just worked, nothing really else to say. What's the brush roll like? Not too bad, there's a few little bits of Fluff and lint, and again, lots of dust around the middle where it's obviously flicked up from where it's been used. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not having its brush roll for much longer because when I first got it, I did promise the brush roll to somebody for an electrolyte contour because it's the same brush roll. So it's about to lose its brush roll. I realised I wasn't going to keep it, but for now, I might. Don't want to stay forever. It it, it it is just going to go in the bin. It's going to go to the tip because it's, I, I have no need for it. I can't have got the space to keep it. It's not special enough. But for now, it can just stay, just for a little bit until for something that I have hopefully planned. So we shall wind the cable up for the last time. Yeah, this has been a pain, having the top corner broken, you've got to be a bit careful how you wind the cable up. Otherwise it all flops everywhere. 
and is generally a little bit annoying. And let's see what we're going to use for May. And here is my choice, the Hoover Turbo Power 3. Turbo Power 3, it is a U2876. One of the many Turbo Power 2s that I have. This was a completely last minute decision, I'll be honest. I came, I got here this morning. I've been meaning to do a cleaner for ages. I really want, but I haven't refurbished it yet. I need to refurbish it before I can use it because it's just a bit too bad. So I was, I was quite unprepared. Obviously, it's now, I've filmed this a couple of days before. But it's going to be the first soon, so I had to just choose something. I thought, well, I haven't, I've got all these Turbo Power 2s. I need to do something with them. So let's use one. This was the first one I grabbed. So, well, it, well no, I did specifically choose it for an reason. But yeah, it's, so this is as is. I don't, it might need a little bit of feckling, which I can't do here because I don't have parts on me. So I have to make a little list and I shall do that at some other point. But we can have a look at it as it is. And we haven't really, we've, been, we've seen these when I first got them. This has just been sat where it was then. So we just check first if it's got a bag, which it does. And it's not too bad. If you like it, it's, it's had a bit of a hard life. You can probably see that from there, but inside there's a bit filthy. Whoops, as is the filter. Um, there's a bit of dirt in there as well. Maybe we, should, maybe we should use the Dirt Devil as the outgoing machine to clean the incoming machine. Shall I get a bit of a closer camera shot and we'll get the Dirt Devil back out, put the bag back in and clean it up? Hang on. Right, we have the Dirt Devil. Let's just, just see what, get the worst of this out. <laughs> So we'll pop that there. Not entirely sure I'm going to use this bag. So let's just get another bag for it. Here we go. We'll stick another HEPA flow in because Turbo Power 2 is quite like a nice HEPA flow. Just pop that down there. Right. Uh, uh, uh. I need to cut this. I've done it before. We need to do it slightly weird way so let's just try and get it on because it's very close to not fitting at all but I've done this before uh, how did I do this last time I think I did have to tear this but it's okay tearing it now because it's so tight that it does seal itself on well enough. Come on. 
it on. And I could have, I do need to buy some of those. You could buy HeparFlow Turbo Power 2 H18 bags, but I haven't yet. I've got oodles of filters and oodles of paper bags, but I don't like using paper bags much anymore. Down by this side. Ah, I think that's got it. There we go. Now all we need to do is cut the green plastic just where it sits on the two old bag holders. Let me see if there's a pair of scissors in the drawer next to me, that would be very handy. Ah. There are. Whether they're any good or not though, who knows? So all I've got to do is cut that there, just so it snaps behind there. I need to not cut the bag either. Come on, ow. God, these are rubbish. <laughs> there we go. Should now be able to push that even further on. Like that. <sighs> now we have a HEPA flow fitted. <laughs> This has been used with an air freshener before. <coughs> You're in line for a full refurb, my son. Right, let's just check we have some suction. Yes, we do, and the bag full night works as well. Marvellous. One thing I did notice from the cloud of dust is this poor filter here A has been wet B is also looking a little bit peaky so we'll give this a bit of a vacuum off Judging by how that's just fallen apart, you're not very helpful. I'll be honest, the HEPA flow is going to do all of the filtration now, so I'm going to put that bit back on because it acts as a diffuser as well. So we'll knob that on and call that done because I'm not putting brand new filters in it now because it will get those ready to be furbished. <laughs> Lovely, right. Let's move down to here, which you can't see. Hang on. Right, let's clean this up a little bit. Again, I really wish I had some belts, but I don't. So I'm hoping it's going to be just good enough. I mean, if it's not, I've got some at home, so if it is no good, I shall. Oh, this is the wrong screw size, this is the wrong size screwdriver. Hang on, let's get a slightly bigger screwdriver so I don't, there we go. So I don't strip the heads. We don't want that. Do we? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah. That's not very helpful. <laughs> I'd have expected that that side with the suction side, but not this side. Crikey, this belt is on its last legs. That's so stretched. We're going to turn it inside out so that you can see where it's run its entire life. There we go. So it might help a little bit, but that is, whew, that's not great. So 
we are going to have to stick a new belt on it fairly soon. I might do that this weekend before I actually start to use it. Brush roll is phenomenally good. That is utterly perfect, I would say. Let's just get all of this string and lint and other rubbish off of it. Come on. There we go. Let's put it all off. I'm not going to go nuts, just get the worst of it off. <whistles> Nearly done. Oh no, wait, we're not. <laughs> I haven't seen this bit under my hand. Crikey. Whoever owned this before the person that I bought it from, because I know he wouldn't have used it very much, was obviously a sewing sort of person. There we go, let's just have the end caps off because, and these are, I can sense it, full of fluff, and plus it's easier to get this end bit off that's been caught around the edge cleaning bristles. Come on. Eh, eh. Yeah, that'll do. Do this end, which is also quite bad, although not, not horrific. Probably could have left it, I'll be honest, but I haven't. There we go. I just need to put the spacer felt on, grab the plastic cap and put that back on, there we go, and then, oh, these could both go on there, like so, and just be twisted up until they're both yeah, there we go. It probably needs new brush roll bearings. I can, it sounds a little bit raunchy, but it should, it'll be fine for now. Yeah, that, I should be really struggling to get that in. Um, yeah, it's pretty much laying in its own place. So yeah, the belt is, will need quite urgent replacements. But if I stop the belt, I can move the brush roll. So yeah, we shall look at that. I can't do it now, so we're going to have to stay with it as it is for this video, I'm afraid. Marvellous. Right, we'll put the screws back in with the correct screwdriver. Put the inspection plate back on, and in theory, yeah, I should be able to do that. So that should have ripped my hand off. Let me have a look. Let me need to have a look at that at some point but not now. Right, well we've got lots of string to clean up. So I won't use the actual brush roll for that, which we use the hose. That'll save it getting wrapped straight back around the brush roll. Talking of the hose, being a Turbo Power 3, we have an extra long stretch hose. With a very, this is obviously where they got it for, from for the pure power. This style of end grip with a little rubber ring that, if I just pop it into the right place, because it's down a bit more than it should be. There we go. 
clips down there, so when you then use the hose, it doesn't tip the machine up. If I just did that, it would pull the machine all over the shop. Let's check this bit's all right. I'm hoping it doesn't do what the last turbo power two I used last year did and keep coming off, because that was highly annoying. Hopefully, you'll just stay there nicely. Yeah, you're not going too high, so we're going to have to tie that on at some point. What else have we got? We've got the scabbard, the one. The dusting brush, which you've already seen, because I, I grabbed it out to do the bag compartment, and the upholstery brush. So we have a full assortment of tools, and the stair cleaning hose, which wraps around a slightly taller hook, being a three, and the normal turbo power twos, and sits very nicely, like so. But what's it actually going to be like at cleaning carpet? Well, I think there's a fair bit of dirt in here, and we've got the bag from the dirt devil. Let's spread some dirt. There we go, one big pile of mess. Did find a few interesting things in the bag for the turbo power. The first is the remains of the air freshener that's causing that smell. Second is the bag cover thing that goes over the hole. Third, and most happily, is the hoover roundel that should sit on the handle so we can glue that up. It's also a few pins and this HDMI plastic cover. Right, if I run the machine through the middle of this, it's just going to clog the crap out of it. Hello. So we should get the big chunks up, fit them right up. half full so I can lie to you all next month about how much I vacuumed up. <sighs> now we can see just how bad that belt really is going to be. The suction wise it's fine, now it's got a heifer bag in it that's not going to really go down. Let's see how it actually picks this up. <laughs> problem at all. We just need to make it look a little bit nicer because it's not the cleanest after it's time in the shed and then the garage and then the loft and god knows where else it's been so not to the full standards but I should just wipe off the dust really from storage. I'm not going to fully refurbish it yet it can have a month of use. God that's looking better already few marks that we aren't going to polish out, sadly. You can sense that already. There we go, let's just recline it back a little bit. Spray some more on. I have unplugged it, so don't you worry. Oh, this will come up very nicely once it's actually been properly polished though, so that's good to see. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that hoover around all that we found safe and glue it on once it's been polished and refurbished and whatnot. There we go. Glue. It's only going to get dusty again. Marvellous. So there we go. Maze vacuum. <coughs> Excuse me. 
is all done, looking lovely and ready to go. It even stands itself up, <laughs> obviously it'd rather be broken like the old one. So there we go, the Hoover Turbo Power 3 ready to rock. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye!